guys, this is Haley here from Should You Buy It? And right now, I'm going to apologize. I'm sitting at an angle because if you didn't watch my Sunday vlog, I got extremely burned while I was out kayaking on the river. I put sunscreen on. I applied it multiple times. And I fried. Um, I used Banana Boat and I went on their Twitter. And I guess they've been getting a lot of complaints lately about this happening. So, I don't feel as bad. But today, we are going to be doing a somewhat of a first impression Friday. I don't really know if I can call it a first impression Friday because I'm not testing out the product. Today we are going to be testing out the Trixie Cat Activity Catson Spiel, whatever you want to call this. I originally was going to get it at PetSmart when they had their 15% off and it was called, I think, the Trixie Mad Scientist Beaker Set. Um, cat toy. They make them for cats and they make a bigger one for dogs. Um, so pretty much how this is set up is you have the three beakers here. They have different tops that you can put on them with different sizes. It comes with one top that's a bigger hole and then it comes with a second top that has three smaller holes for your treats to fit through. So you pretty much put this bad boy together. The assembly was extremely easy. Um, you did need a screwdriver to attach the legs to the base. Um, I originally played with it without that happening because I didn't read the instructions on how to put it together and it kept coming off. The cats were dragging it off so I decided I'm going to read the instructions that are in this box and I originally was going to get the Mad Scientist one and I ordered the Mad Scientist one so I don't know why they sent me this one. It's the same exact thing so just to let you guys know. So pretty much you put the three beakers in, you put treats in the beakers and then your cats have to knock out the treats or knock over the beakers, which they're on like a little metal, um, whatever you want to call that thingy, bar. There you go. Um, they're on a little metal bar, and then the cats have to pretty much put either push, push or pull up for it to lift upside down, and then the treats fall out. Now, super easy, right? Because my cat has one of those um, things where you put the treats in, and then you just knock it over, and the treats fall out. Bruce has pretty much became an expert at figuring out how that works. So I needed something else to be able to kind of satisfy his needs. So I decided to get this. Um, a one cool, another cool thing with this is once they fall out, if they fall straight out or not at a weird angle, they fall into this little thing right here, which has a bunch of like fake spikes on it. And it makes the cats put their paw in to pull out the physical treat. So it's kind of a two in one. Um, for me, I learned it took the cats probably about five minutes to actually figure out what was happening. Um, Cause I had opened a brand new bag of treats so they couldn't even smell the treats. I'd open this, I'd put it together, bam, bam, bam. So it took them a little bit to actually figure out what was in there, why it was in there and all the treats. So after maybe about five minutes, they knew or they figured out there was treats in there. So after that, um, it took them a little while to figure out, of course, that you had to tip the beaker over. Once they finally figured out how to tip the beaker over, it did take them a little while to figure out how to get the treat away from the spikes. Bruce just kept trying to put his face in there and it was hilarious. Um, of course, with this, um, Bruce has never been protective of his food. Um, except for with dogs, he was never protective with Anna with dry cat food, but he's kind of protective with this. So if you do have cats that are really protective over food, this might be something that you need to get one for each cat or something that the one that is protective of food, they're gone maybe outside and you can play with your other ones because th this did cause a tiny bit of friction. Um, not a lot of friction. I would say, um, but a tiny bit. So the cats were kind of fighting over the treats once they fell. I a, I a. Um, I really did like this for my cats. I'm glad I got it. It was twenty four dollars on Amazon. Of course, I'll have a link down below to that. Um, I really, really did like this product. I am impressed. But of course, it's not something that should be complicating to do. Um, it is just pretty much for cats. I just needed something new for my cats to play with and I thought this might be something that was really good when I saw it online at PetSmart. So you can also get this on PetSmart but it is more expensive. It's about seven bucks more and of course with PetSmart you do have to pay tax. So getting it on Amazon you can also get free shipping on Amazon. It is an Amazon Prime item. But 
So yeah, I really, really like this product. Um, if you guys want to try, of course, like I said earlier, I will have a link down below. Bruce likes this product. It is an Anna likes this product. It is Bruce and Anna approved. So, I don't know if that really matters to you or not. Probably doesn't, but... Um, so yeah, that's all I have for you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave those down below. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe. Join the Savings Army. Never pay retail again. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!